Okay, I'll pick it up. Here. Oh. It's right here. Just yelling cool. At so, uh, hey, it's our new fridge. Hey, it's our old fridge. They look exactly the same. Our fridge died this week. And we found out why. Whoever refurbished our fridge, I, I had a local repairman just come look at it because I'm like, we have no idea what's going on. Brian thought it might have been the thermostat frosting over. We defrosted it, it still wasn't working. So we had someone come over and he opened the back and said, someone's been working on this since you got it. I'm like, yeah, it's refurbished, we knew that. And he said, the compressor is too small. And so it's been spew spewing out its guts of with oil and stuff. And he's like, your lines probably need to all be replaced. Your compressor needs to be replaced. It's going to cost you more than this fridge cost. So we were super frustrated because we only owned this fridge for eight months. So we called the store that we bought it from and we're like, hey, what's, we, we bought this fridge refurbished and it already needs to be completely replaced basically. What's the deal? What can we do about this? We were expecting to have this fridge for three, three or more years. So I think the manager that I ended up talking to is a godsend and I count these as tender mercies and it's frustrating that we had to go through it at all. But the fact that it turned out the way it did, I, I'm still a little bit in shock that it happened this way. I'm still like, are you sure this is happening? So the manager, he's like, what were you hoping to do? Were you hoping to replace it? Or what did you want to try to do? And I said, I don't care if we replace it or if we get our money back for what we paid for it. We just can't afford to buy a new fridge. Um, especially since we just spent all that money buying this one eight months ago. So he said, come in tomorrow. Uh, no, it was tonight. Because I, I talked to him in the afternoon and Brian said, can you come down? and come to the store. I'm like, yeah, let me bring my husband when he gets off work. So we went down and we chatted with me. He's just like, okay, let's take care of you guys. Which fridge did you want? That's all he said, is, which fridge do you want? Which one? Which one are you looking at? Um, the one we bought was basically the only one that had all of our specifications that we liked because um, it had to be 33 inches or less and it had to we wanted a side by side because both of us are tall and we don't like reaching down to get stuff and it needed to have the water and ice on the outside. And uh, so this one, the one that we had owned, refurbished, was the only one that he really had in store and in stock that was uh, met all those specifications. So he's like, yeah, I'm going to go find one in the back. We actually didn't take our truck with us, our Brian's parents truck with us last night. Because uh, I didn't know what was going to happen. Um, they were like, oh, we don't actually have our truck with us, but we can bring it tomorrow. I was like, okay, I'm in after one. Come after one. We'll take care of you. So I went today. I'm like, hey, we're here to pick up the fridge. He's like, okay, park, by, park there and I'll bring it out to you. <laughs> so we got Brian's two brothers and we got back at the end of Brian's lunch and we hefted it inside and we took the other one out and the local company that does appliance repair is going to take it off her hands for us because I feel bad just dumping this thing and paying extra money to dump it because it it's a decent fridge. It just had the wrong part put in it and so it died and it's too expensive to fix. So in other words, and it was already out of warranty. It was already a year past warranty. So um, I don't know. I'm just, I, I'll let you watch while I put together a new fridge a little bit. Some antics. Eliza's hanging out with me, so you'll get to see some of her little fun antics too. Yeah. The saga of replacing our fridge with the exact same fridge, just new instead of refurb. Let's hope this one has as good of, has a better lifespan than our other one did. And like I said, I'm still in shock. I, it hasn't settled into me that we've had to replace our fridge and half of me is like, oh, I don't want something wrong to happen again, but it's, well, hopefully by tonight we have a functioning fridge. That's the hope.
we have the line to the fridge and we have our line from the house which the let me show that to you it has an on off switch thankfully so i don't have to turn the whole water off on the house i love this little tripod which i found it was in my in-laws truck from the last time brian went um went shooting but it also can be a little annoying and <laughs> eliza's trying to come say hi so I have these two connectors. I'm gonna get it just on the most of the way with my hands and then I have to use crescent wrenches to finish it off the job so it's nice and tight so it won't leak. All right, now I'm gonna have it hold it over a bucket and turn the water on and plug it in. Okay, I'll put the bucket under my water line and turn it on. I'll let that sit for a second while we work on the rest of it to make sure that it doesn't have any leaks. All right, let's go clean out the rest of the fridge. thing that we'll probably get tonight that we may not save for Christmas. Oh, we already got it today. We are getting LED lights for our house. Smart LED lights. We had a little extra leftover from our Christmas money budget. And we're like, why the heck not? So, we bought Christmas LED lights. Not Christmas LED lights, but they are for Christmas for us. Brian, technically, and it's they can be warm, cool, or multicolored. So you know those dance offs that you've been seeing us do every once in a while in videos. They're about to get so much better because we'll just say a computer turn lights to dance mode, and they'll go. Ooh, 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 ooh and I'll just go back and forth. It'll be great. I'm just actually like kind of really excited for that. We got enough to do the living room and the kitchen and I think the back room. I don't know if we have any for bedrooms because we only had so much budget. So we only got what we could afford and we wanted at least the main rooms to all match. So that'll be fun. And I've decided Actually, I haven't decided on that yet. Somewhere, I think, ooh, that would be fun. When I finish the, the little breakfast nook back there, I think I'm gonna get some fun little string lights like the old fashioned looking ones and figure out a way to use them in that space. I, there's not a ton of light in that space. Like you can see like it's one little bulb. Um, so I really want a little more light over there. And that would bring in a cool aesthetic. I just gotta figure out how to do it. Just gotta figure out how to do it. I'm almost done with tape. It's stinking tarp. Right. And that nasty stuff on They put this like clear grease on things that move. And I've touched it like four times. One of the places they put it which I think is kind of dumb, is on the uh, the little slider for the green basket, whatever, greens basket. And it's so gross, this stuff is so nasty. Cause I know they put it on there just to make sure it moves properly. One more little piece of plastic. Sounds like a bigger compressor. So when we bought 
When we bought our original fridge, refurbished fridge, we actually were like, hey, how come it's so noisy? And uh, now you can see me outside the fridge. I still gotta do the freezer. But it actually feels so much colder than our other one did. Cause it's actually working. Yay! It's only 66 degrees so far, but it feels cold. All right, baby, I gotta close the fridge now. Thank you. Now I need to open the freezer and take all the plastic stuff out of there. I have a mess of a floor now. Anyway, so when we got the other one, we're like, why is the why is the compressor sound so loud? But we were in the midst of trying to finish up making our kitchen functional, and I was like, there's no way right now that I am going back to the store to look at a different fridge or whatever. And we got it for a steal, so we're like, well, if it's just noisy, like, whatever. It's a noisy fridge. Whatever. I keep looking at the wrong place, sorry. Camera! So we didn't really think about it at all, other than like, yeah, it's a little noisy, whatever. And then when the repairman told us yesterday that it's the compressor was too small, it made total sense to me. The reason why it was so loud was because it was overworking itself all the time. So annoying that someone put in the wrong part. Sorry, I'm doing lots of tape. Are you helping, baby? Can you get where you can see her? Hi. Hi. Are you eating some yummy Cheerios? Uh huh. Almost done. I gotta take all those little circle stickers off. Okay, can I get in there? Can you move out of the way so I can get in there? Got it. Got it. Our first finger marks. All right. Pretty sure we have everything now. Oh. Now, I have everything. Now I gotta let it sit for a while. See how it is. I'm gonna put a couple things in the fridge that are supposed to be in the fridge, that are waiting to be put in the fridge. They've been out of the fridge for a couple hours now. I already had a piece of pie, otherwise I would just eat that. And then, when I know for sure that this fridge is gonna work, I'll bring the rest of my food over for my neighbors, who has so generously lent me her spare fridge space. All right, let's check on our water. Are we getting any kind of leaks? Nope, it feels completely dry. That's good. Hey, first try. I'm such a good plumber. Not really. That does not tell you anything about whether I'm a good plumber or not. Hey, baby. You ready to come out? Let's go do something else for a while. Like, clean up our mess. down where it's supposed to be. Yay! Uh, that means I have to go get all my food for my neighbors. Not fun. So I want to correct something really quick. 
Earlier I said that the compressor didn't sound that much quieter than it did before, but I've been sitting here kind of paying attention, kind of not, just hanging out my phone in a quiet house, and it is so much quieter than the last one. It's The last one was a lot more high-pitched and, uh, and had a little bit of a knocking sound to it, so we have a much happier refrigerator, and it's going down to temperature here. It's only a bit early. <laughs>